Hi everyone, my name is Angela and I'm here to do preschool story time with you. I'm a children's librarian with the San Mateo County Library System and um, I just want to tell you um, where you can find us on the internet. Our uh, web address is smcl.org and you can go there to find all the books um, that I'm going to be reading with you today. Um, they will be in ebook format um, on Overdrive. That's where all the books that I'll be reading are from. But we also have other um, places where you can find ebooks like um, Access 360 or Hoopla. And you can also um, stream movies, um, TV shows um, from, the, uh, from Hoopla, especially, and, or audiobooks, which are books that you listen to, um, and you can read along with them. Okay, so when you get a chance, just check us out at smcl.org. Okay, all right, so this is preschool story time. So I always start my story times with my fingers. Can you? Show me your fingers. Yeah, wiggle them, wiggle them, put them in the air. Wiggle them, wiggle them, mess them in your hair. Wiggle them, wiggle them, give a little clap. Wiggle them, wiggle them, put them in your lap. All right, good job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see the first book. And then we can read it together, okay? All right, this one's called There's Nothing to Do. And this is by Dev Petty and illustrated by Mike Bolt. And illustrated means that that's the person who made the pictures, okay? There's nothing to do. Have you been saying that lately? <laughs> now that we've had to stay at home so much. But um, uh, you can see on here who's saying it. It's a frog. And he's got his toys here. He's got a book an owl and an airplane and a baseball. There's a lot of things there, but he still has nothing to do. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, look, he's bored. He's yawning here. Can you give me a yawn? Oh, oh, and he's just rolling his eyes. He's lying on the floor. Looking very bored. And that's the title page. There's nothing to do. I don't know what to do today. You can't think of anything? I can think of lots of things, but I don't want to do any of them. What's he doing here? He caught a fly, huh? And here's his, here this is dad or mom working on a crossword puzzle. Want to go for a swim? Too wet. Play? Play what? Oh, he's offering to play baseball with him and he doesn't want to. And what's here? This looks like a game. I like playing games. Do you like games? What's Pig doing today? Probably something boring. Then clean your room. I just did. I'll go see if my friends have any better ideas. So what's Pig doing here anyway? He's making a tower. And here's the little frog in his room. He's just so bored. Does it look like he cleaned his room? No, not really. <laughs> Rabbit, what should we do today? Hop around in circles and then stare off into space like this. That's even less fun than it looks. What do you think? Do you think hopping around fun? That could be fun. And staring off into space? Well, I guess if you're Meditating, it's okay, right? Or it, it might be fun. Cat, there's just nothing to do. Well then, you should lick between your toes for a while. Ew! If you know a better way to clean between your toes, I'd like to hear about it. <laughs> and there's a cat licking his toes. Owl, oh, I don't know what to do. Do you have any ideas? Sure, first find a nice spot. And? Sleep until it's dark. And wake up. And that's it. Who wants to spend the whole day sleeping? I do. Good night. And you know why owls spend the whole day sleeping, right? Yeah, because they're up at night. They're awake at nighttime. Pig, I can't find anything to do. Have you tried sniffing around in the dirt? Why would I do that? If you have to ask, I can't explain it to you. 
I know. Let's take a look at my trusty list. And here's this list and it says, Pig's fantastic list of things to do when he doesn't know what to do. Hmm, I wonder what's on this list. So on this list it says, build model of Eiffel Tower. So remember we saw him building a tower? Yeah, two, it says, hum for three hours without stopping. Does that sound like fun? <laughs> How about staring at the wall? That's number three. Number four is try not to think about squirrels or their fluffy tails. Five is wake owl. Six is spin around until dizzy. Oh, I bet you, you like doing that, huh? I've done that before. Froggy's saying, pig, I'm not sure this list qualifies as fantastic. What's the matter? The day is almost over and I didn't do anything. Why do you have to do anything? Just be. Watch clouds go by, think about stuff, then put do nothing on your to-do list and check it off. Sometimes the best ideas come when you stop looking for them. Really? Let's try it. Take a deep breath, empty your mind. This is what I was talking about earlier about meditating. Let's take a deep breath. Empty your mind. Don't think about anything. Oh, it's empty. Be one with the universe. One with the universe, check. Now wait. Waiting. I'm gonna wait. Oh, I got it. I have a great idea. Wonderful, glad I could help. See all he had to do was stop, empty his mind, and he thought of something. Isn't that great? Look at this picture. What do we see here in this picture? We see lots of mountains with snow on the top, and trees, and the hills. Sit with me for a moment. So what did you do all day? Nothing. And you know what? It was great. I came up with the best idea of what to do tomorrow. You have school tomorrow. Oh, I can't go to school. I've got nothing to do. <laughs> and there she's his pig friend. So he figured out that having nothing to do is okay. <laughs> oh, and there he's whistling and he's looking at the sky. He's meditating. And there's pig making his list. All right. And that's the back of the book. Okay, let me stop sharing this book. So how was that? Sometimes it's okay to do nothing, right? Yeah. All right, so since that, that there was a frog in that story, I have three green and speckled frogs. You see my, my monkey mitt with the frogs? Yeah, this is called a monkey mitt. Don't ask me why, because I don't really know, but it's, it's kind of furry. All right, here, here, here goes the song. Okay, and we're gonna count backwards if you've never heard this song before. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, how many are left? One, two, three, four. Four green speckled frogs. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, how many are left? One, two, three. Three green speckled frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, one, two. Two green speckled frogs. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frog. Glug, glug. Okay, good job counting backwards.
Let's put them back on and we can count forward. One, two, three. <laughs> They're stuck together. Four and five. Five green speckled frogs. All right, good job. Yay. Okay, let's pull up our next book. And this one is called Lola Plants a Garden. This is by Anna McQuinn and illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. And there's Lola. And she's watching the plants grow. Do you think you can see plants grow if you watch? I have to watch for a long time, huh? Okay. And here it says, Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. So this is a nursery rhyme about a garden. Silver bells, cockle shells are uh, a kind of flowers. Okay, Lola plants a garden. This is the title page. And this is read with permission from Charles Bridge. Lola loves her book of garden poems. Her favorite poem is the one about Mary, Mary. That's the one that we read earlier, right? And there she is with her mommy and they're looking at the book and you can see flowers. Lola wants to plant a garden. Mommy says there's room near the vegetables. Lola gets books about gardens from the library. Oh, cool. She chooses her favorite flowers from the books. Mommy makes a list. There they are sitting and there's mom making the list. See, there's her book with the flower in it. And there she is, what is she doing? Oh, they go to the store, the garden store to buy seeds. Fun. Lola and mommy, Make the garden. The seed packets mark where the flowers are planted. So this is like to tell them where which flowers are there with little signs. Lola will have to wait a long time for them to grow. And then we see here we see a butterfly too, right? There's a butterfly. Lola makes her own flower book while she waits. She's cutting stuff out. Mommy types a Mary Mary poem. And Lola glues it in. Oh, that's nice. Lola makes a string of bells. She finds shells and some old beads. There's all these craft things that she could use. And here's a glue stick. She even makes a little Mary Mary. Oh, there's Mary Mary. One day, Lola sees tiny green shoots. Finally, something's coming out. She pulls up weeds so the shoots can grow. It's a lot of work weeding a garden. Have you ever helped weed a garden? Yeah. Lola's flowers grow bigger. They open up to the sun. Oh, there's all these butterflies. And this is like a sunflower, it looks like a sunflower. Do you have a garden at home that you've planted? Oh, look, they're taller than her. Daddy helps Lola hang her shiny bells. Ooh, there's these bells they're decorating the garden. Lola finds Mary Mary a special spot. It's just perfect. There she is, there's Mary Mary. Orla, Ben, and Ty are coming to see Lola's garden. Lola and Mommy make cupcakes. Mmm. Cooking in the kitchen, yummy. Lola wears her flower shirt. Oh, it's so pretty. Mommy helps Lola with her hair. She's got flowers in her hair too. Lola's friends love everything about her garden. If there's one of her friends, then what, what does it look like they have here? Peas, they must have grown peas in the garden. They share crunchy peas and sweet strawberries that mommy grew. Mmm, strawberries too. Yum. Then Lola makes up a story about Mary Mary. They're her friends. Oh, it looks like they're having a picnic, doesn't it? What kind of garden will Lola plant next? Lola, Lola, extraordinary. How does your garden grow? 
with flower seeds and shells and beads and happy friends all in a row. Yay. Yay, that was a good one. Yeah, so if, you, if you're growing a garden now, maybe you have something you can harvest, um, which means like to pick. Um, you might have some peas or, or maybe um, a, a kale. I think kale is um, also something that's um, ready to be picked right now. So um, when we, when we uh, plant a garden, what do we have to do? So this is what our next song is going to be about. It's called, This is the Way We Plant a Garden. So one of the first things we do is we dig in the dirt, right? All right, so we're going to dig in the dirt. We're going to pretend like we're digging. This is the way we dig the dirt, dig the dirt, dig the dirt. This is the way we dig the dirt. So early in the morning. Let's do it in the morning. <laughs> All right, what do you do after you dig the dirt? Maybe you have to put the seed in, right? You can put the seed in like this, you drop it in. This is the way we plant the seeds, plant the seeds, plant the seeds. This is the way we plant the seeds so early in the morning. All right, once you put the seed in the hole that we dug, then we can cover it up with dirt. Okay, so we can maybe go like this, like we can pretend like we're lifting the dirt with a shovel. This is the way we cover the hole, cover the hole, cover the hole. This is the way we cover the hole so early in the morning. Then what do you need when, um, for your seed to grow when it's underground? You need water, right? So we're going to water it. So we're going to pour it with a um, watering can, or you can do it with a hose if you want. <laughs> I'm going to use a watering can. This is the way we water the seed, water the seed, water the seed. This is the way we water the seed so early in the morning. All right, then after... The seed grows and grows and grows, and maybe we're going to pick the flower. Okay, so um, let's pick the flower. Okay, so we're going to hold it. I'm going to snip the stem. This is the way we pick the flower, pick the flower, pick the flower. This is the way we pick the flower so early in the morning. So if you pick all the uh, a bunch of flowers, you can put them in a vase and put them inside in your house, maybe on your dining room table really pretty or if you planted uh, vegetables you can pick them and maybe have them for dinner or a snack if you plant um, like fruits you can have them for a snack yeah and this is a good time to do planting and having a garden because we're home and so not so many places are open for us to go anyway let's go ahead and share our last book and this one is called a hug this is by Owen McLaughlin and Polly Dunbar. And look who's on the cover here. A hedgehog and he wants a hug. The hedgehog was feeling sad. As sad as a hedgehog can feel. So sad only one thing could help. Oh, I forgot to mention that this is read with permission from Faber and Faber. Hello, said hedgehog. Oh. I'm getting a message that says, load again. Right, let's load it again. I'm not getting my second page. Let's try it again. Oh, there, there's a second page. Hello, said Fox. Please, may I have a hug, asked Hedgehog. Uh, I'd love to, replied Fox, but I've just got to go knock over that bin. Bang, crash, splat. I think he knocked over a garbage can. <laughs> There's fish bones, half empty bottle, an eaten apple, eaten cookie, a banana peel. It seemed like Fox didn't really want to hug Hedgehog. Can you think of a reason why? Maybe because he's prickly, he might hurt. I'm feeling quite sad and would very much like a hug, said Hedgehog. Uh, I'm a little busy counting all of my nuts, replied Squirrel, where only, who only had three nuts. Does he only have three nuts? Let's see here. One, two, three. Yeah, he only had three. Hmm. Now I'll have to start over. One, two, three. Well, maybe he doesn't want to hug Hedgehog for the same reason Fox didn't want to. Huh. 
Might you give me just a small hug, begged Hedgehog. Perhaps after I sing my song, replied Magpie, which is quite long. Aww. Would you hug Hedgehog? Squawk, 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 squawk. Why will no one hug me, Hedgehog sniffed. Oh, he looks sad. There's a tear. You're just a little bit tricky to hug, replied Owl, with all your prickly prickles. But don't worry, there's someone for everyone. Now I'm even more sad, said Hedgehog. Will I ever find someone to hug? There he is curled up in a ball. And that's when, what's that? It's like turtle. They met. Oh, they're looking at each other. And that's when they, it looks like they're running to each other. Hug, as happy as a hug can make you, as happy as two someones can be. All right, so this is an ebook, and actually this page, you're supposed to look at it. So, uh, you're supposed to turn the book, but we'll just have to turn our heads to look at it. <laughs> And they hug. Oh, wasn't that nice? Oh, so th this book starts all over again and says the hug. Tortoise was feeling sad, as sad as a tortoise can feel. So sad, only one thing could help. Hello, said Tortoise. Hello, said Badger. Might you give me a big hug, asked Tortoise. Uh, I'm sorry, but my hands are sticky, replied Badger. Why do you think the badger doesn't want to hug tortoise? Maybe because his shell is hard? Oh, tortoise looks sad here. The badger goes, guzzle, guzzle, slurp. Might I trouble you for a small hug? Asked tortoise. Not right now, said rabbit. Unfortunately, I'm digging a very important hole. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, he doesn't want to hug Tortoise either. Do you have time for a quick hug? Asked Tortoise. Not today, replied Frog. Sorry, but I have to jump over there now. Boing! Oh. Why will no one hug me? Asked Tortoise. Oh, he's sad too. It's your shell, replied Owl. It's just so very hard. But don't worry, there's someone for everyone. Now I'm even more sad, said Tortoise. Will I ever find someone to hug? And that's when... You guys know what happens now, right? They met! And that's when they... Hug! As happy as a hug can make you as happy as two someones can be. That's the same page. Oh, and that's the end. Oh, that was nice. Okay, so if you've seen my story time before, you know I have a song called I Can Hug. Well, let's try this one. I can hug, hug, hug. I can hop, hop, hop. I can kiss, kiss, kiss. I can stop, stop, stop. I can nod my head, yes. I can shake my head, no, and I can sit down, can sit down very low. Okay, let's try that one more time, really quick, okay? I can hug, hug, hug. I can hop, hop, hop. I can kiss, kiss, kiss. I can stop, stop, stop. I can nod my head, yes. I can shake my head, no, and I can sit down. Very low. All right, good job. Good job, everyone. All right, that was our last uh, song. So we're going to sing our closing song. We're going to open our hands. You ready? Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Raise your hands up high, high, high. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Time to say goodbye, bye, bye. All right, but before we really say goodbye, 
We still have our summer learning program going on and you can uh, download a log at www.summerlearners.org. Um, you can track your reading. You can log today's story time, uh, about 20 minutes for the books that we read today. And when you finish it, you um, can get a chance to win a $1,000 scholarship for college, all right? And um, we also have uh, summer learning books at the um, libraries. Um, you can pick them up or you could have mom or dad or someone who could drive, <laughs> go to the library and pick them up. And you can uh, read all summer. Okay. All right. So that was story time. My name is Angela and um, I will see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye.